In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a red line detection smoke machine to find an exhaust leak on a 2009 Chevy Traverse. And if you want to see all the accessories that come with this, I'll put a link in the description to the previous video where I showed that and I showed how to find a vacuum leak on a different vehicle. So on this vehicle, to me, it looks like the flex pipe up here is bad. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera or it's all messed up there. But I still want to be able to verify the problem just to make sure I don't replace this pipe and it doesn't solve the problem. So we're going to hook the smoke machine up to it right now. now. How I do this when I'm back near the back of the car is I always just hook this to a jump start box. It's simpler. And what you're going to do is this piece, you just stick that in the exhaust pipe. And you can also use this easy intake if you want. Either way works. Then I just use this plastic cap to cap off the other pipe. And this car actually has single exhaust on it, but it goes into two pipes right near the rear of the car. So we only need to hook the smoke machine up to one pipe. So then all I'm going to do here is hook the air up first. Now what I'm doing is hooking this up to this jump start box. Then we push the button on the smoke machine. And I usually wait until it starts smoking. And then you just put this in here. So now we wait a few minutes and we'll go and look at the at flex pipe. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait longer here. Yeah, I took and made this a very long time ago out of an 18 millimeter spark plug for this exhaust back pressure tester. So now what I'm going to do is take the one oxygen sensor out and try to use the smoke machine on that, right in that area, because I don't see anything leaking anywhere else. It also comes with these uh, pieces I could use too. Either one will work. So now you can see this uh, thing does leak. I'm going to take this cover off this exhaust manifold. It's more than likely the exhaust manifold is cracked. Now after taking the heat shield off, you can definitely see there's one bolt missing and it's leaking around that gasket where the catalytic converter mounts to the exhaust manifold they had. So even though that flex pipe's in bad shape, if I would have replaced it, it wouldn't have solved the problem. That's why it's always a good idea to use these smoke machines to verify what the problem is. So you don't replace parts for no reason. Also, with a lot of these cars, the exhaust manifolds are cracked, and you can't tell when that heat shield's on there. That's why when you hook the smoke machine up, you can find that leak real fast. Yeah, and if I had their uh, new uh, high-pressure uh, smoke machine, it would have found this uh, exhaust leak without having to hook the smoke machine up at the oxygen sensor. Yeah, I would have been able to just use it at the tailpipe, and it would it would have worked for sure.